You know what we're here for. Yeah, to get in condition. Fellas, I like the condition I'm in already. That's condition? Yeah. It'll look like a double truckload of mashed potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Is that any way to treat mashed potatoes? Watch yourself. You hit me right in the muscle there, right? Yeah, I'd ask. Muscle. Pick up the dumbbell. He's pretty heavy. The other dumbbell. That one there, and you'll get that one. Yeah, get that one. Come on, pick oh, it up. Oh, All right. All right, now, you ready? Swing it. One, two, oh! Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mo. It was an accident. Why, of course. Everyone knows it's an accident. Yeah. But don't let it happen again. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, pick up that barbell. It's too rough. Curly Joe, what? give him a hand. Well, he's not doing it too good, but I will. No, 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 no. 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 Pick up the other end. Get on the end. Pick oh, it up. Oh, pick it up. Pick up the barbell. What's going to do with these people? Yeah. All right, now, uh, just relax a minute. All right, all right. Uh, was that see... too high? You're up. really out of condition now. I see where I'll have to build you up first. Yeah. Deep breathing exercises, yeah. that's what you need. That's what we need. Stand aside. Yeah, okay, okay. Deep breathing. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. The man said hold it, so you hold it. That's fine. Hold it, hold it. Now we were the greatest athletes of our time. Actually, our story begins in the scorching vastness of the Sahuha Desert as three courageous legionnaires approach their destination. Well, it's been a long, hot march, men, but there's Fort Mirage, where we've been ordered to report for duty. How come, Mo? To help fight that scourge of the burning sands, El Zeta the Raider. El Zeta the Raider? Thank goodness we made it in time. Yeah, El Zeta the Raider can't take over now. Troopers Larry Moe and Curly Joe reporting for duty, sir. Ha-ha. Uh -huh. Go better your Boy Scout cookies elsewhere. It's El Zeta the Raider. Run, you guys. You were uh, expecting maybe Yul Brunner? Now what'll we do, Mo? Hide behind the nearest sand dune, you meathead. That sounds cowardly and safe. I guess that takes care of our hitch in this outfit, huh, Mo? The heck it does. We gotta recapture that fort and make El Zeta our prisoner. All in one day? Follow me, you guys. We'll rush them. So, they get violent, eh? This will stop them. Look, a pill. It'll take more than a pill to stop us. Right. Charge! Well, so much for the rush act. I could have told you this would happen. I'll catapult over the wall and open the gate for you guys. All set here. Cut rope! Rope cut. Gee, I'll bet that's done. This time, let's do it right, you fatheads. Stand by to cut rope. All set again. OK, cut rope. Rope cut. There he goes. Don't forget the right. Very funny. Hey! Is he hurt? No, he landed on his head. You sure you want to try this again? Never mind, knucklehead. Cut the rope. Rope cut. I think our fearless leader will make it this time. Here, I help you. Down. Cruel but effective. Where'd you ever get an idea like this, Mo? I saw it in a movie once about some Greeks and a wooden horse. Gee, I hope it works. Who's going to be suspicious of a camel in the Sahuha Desert, you worry wart? Clever, clever. Well, here goes. What is this? Don't you know a harmless camel when you see one, amigo? This is not only ridiculous, it's too much. Voila! The imposters! Watch your language there, fella. For that incident, I will have your hearts and livers. Come on, you knuckleheads. It's time to panic. And don't ever come back if you value your miserable hide. 
Allons They are gone for good. Ah, uh, that was a clever plan, mon capitaine. Pretending to be El Zeda and scaring those willow replacements back to headquarters. We oui. And away from the best outfit in the foreign legion. Ah, it gives one a good feeling, no? Hold. 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 All right. Exhale. That's fine. That's fine. You're just doing great. Now, back to the barbell. Oh, no. It's too heavy. Yeah. It, it's heavy, and besides, we can't pick it up. Oh, I what I can. Take care. Yeah. With it. Pops must be dynamite. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure of it. You got some? Yeah, here you are, fellas. Give me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Tote that barge. Rip yeah. that bale. Yeah. Throw me a boat. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. It's all right. Thank you very much. And now for that wonderful and extraordinary trick, the disappearing bowl. The disappearing bowl. Professor, please. Oh, I thank you. Oh, okay. Water? That's the water. It's a boat. Now then. Nothing that side, nothing on that side. Over the top we go. Now then. Ready, aim. Fire! Oh, you. That's the wrong gun. Here now. One, two, three. Hey, Bowl has disappeared. Good. Thank you. Very good. Hey, how about this? What's the matter with you? Hide that. Hide that. <laughs> that always happens. And now, for our famous milk trick. The milk trick, if you please. Did you have your milk this morning? No, coffee. You're supposed to say milk. But I had milk in my coffee. Oh, well, that'll do. Follow your head, sir. There we are. Very oh. nice. Ah! Oh, get out of the way. With characters like this, it's no wonder we get into trouble. Wait, I'll show you what I mean. Now, you men from the United Criminal Lab Association are on an important assignment. Here to follow Dr. Strange Glove. We read you, Chief. Look, he's going up the ship's gangway now. Bring back that satchel he's carrying, or don't come back. You can depend on us, Chief. Not to come back? No, stupid, to get the satchel. Come on, you creeps, let's go. Gee, I don't know anything about a ship, Mo. I don't either. How do you tell starboard from port? Read the labels on the bottles, you idiot. There's our man and our job. Get his satchel. We'll sneak up and surprise him. Gee, Mo, he disappeared. It looks like he surprised us. Yeah, where'd he go? He went into one of these passenger cabins, noodle heads, so let's start searching him. I wonder if he could be in this one. Help! Burglars, police! Help! <laughs> I better knock the next time. You're not Dr. Strangeglove, are you, sir? Does this answer your question, fatso? Aha! Dr. Strangeglove, we've got you covered. Hand over your satchel. Don't point that finger at me. It's not polite. And besides, it might be loaded. <laughs> A glove that shoots? I don't believe it. Let's see you do that again. You're maddling idiots. Get out while you're in one piece, yet. Grab his glove, Mo. That's a good idea, Larry. <laughs> now I'm wearing your glove, Doc. Halt or I fire. What's the matter with this? My glove, please. Come on, you two nitwits. Let's get her on the double. Step on it. Roger. 
I'll close the watertight door. That did it. Good work, Mo. Open it. Okay, we'll see what's in it. <laughs> when he opens it, they will all get blasted. <laughs> it won't open. It will too. It opens like this. See? Oh, I move. Answer me! We're secret agents, Cappy old boy, on a secret assignment. Let's see your blowing tickets. Tickets? We don't have any tickets. Then read that sign. Warning, stowaways will be thrown into the brig. But you can't do that to us. This isn't so bad, Mo. At least we get a free trip around the world. One more remark like that, you'll get a free trip to the moon. And I will fire the rocket. Now for the knotted handkerchief trick. Young man, may I borrow your hat? Oh, yeah, sure. Are you sure it's empty? Yeah. Yes, those are heads. <laughs> well, that I knew. There we are, then. I shall place the handkerchiefs inside of the hat, and the young man will withdraw a handkerchief one at a time, just as though they came from the store. Handkerchief number one, if you please. Handkerchief number one. Yes, sir. Thank handkerchief you very much. Handkerchief number one. Handkerchief number two. Handkerchief number two. Number handkerchief two. number two. Number two. Handkerchief number three. If I can find it. Oh, handkerchief number three. How about that? Yeah, oh, very good. That's a wonderful trick, isn't it? Thank you. Hey, what will I do with these? I mean, you. Not you. What do you mean? Now, try to spoil this trick. What'd you do that for? None of your business. It's for you. You can go, too. I'm all alone. I'd better go with them. Uh, gentlemen. Who came in? I do hope you do a good job. You know, my husband is so particular. Oh, don't you worry a bit, madam. You won't recognize the place when we get through. Uh. All right, men, get to work. Tells him he's hungry. Golly gee, my little tummy tells me I'm hungry. 
I think I shall have a tiny snack of milk and wheat germ, because that's a good thing to do. Gorging oneself full of the wrong foods is bad. Bad? Food! I want lots of food! Gorge! Stuff! Hog! Glutton! Tons of food! More and more and more! Ha! Hello? Is this the roast or fried chicken house? Send over 65 chicken dinners and a barrel of root beer and make it snappy! Yeah! We're about to sell our biggest order yet. Roast or fried chicken here. Your order, sir. You say sell or give. What was that? That's what is known as a chicken thief. Delicious. Sir, you forgot to pay us. Sorry. How's this? So, he wants to play rough, eh? That's what it looks like to me. So let's go home. <laughs> Good! Good! All right, tough guy. We, uh... Why, it's a good little kid. May I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, what happened to that tough guy? Has he been picking on you too, Sonny? Look, he's been here. That's obvious. There's what's left of our food. Boy, what a mess. Somebody sure had bad table manners. Bad? Yeah! What a slob. That did it! Us too. Hey, that was a good one. Good? Oh no! How'd my friends get out there? I've got to save them. If you guys land on me, I'll clobber you. We've got a choice. I did it. I got here in time. Except now that I am here, what am I gonna do? I'm just a little boy. I can't do nothing. That's okay, kid. You tried. Watch yourself, Mo. He's a bad one. Bad? Yeah! Okay, get ready. So it's you again! I, uh, uh we, we, you, you, you see, um... Are you okay, Curly? Nothing seems to be broken except here and there. I got a plan. Now to take care of you once and for all. Oh, really? Well, fellas, we did it. Yeah, but how come we put him up there, Mo? If people see him up there, they'll know he's been captured and they can relax. Not to mention everybody will know who captured him. Huh, Mo? Say, that's a good idea. Good? <laughs> Doesn't hurt to advertise. Okay, let's take this character to the police station. Look at all the people coming to congratulate us. We've been chasing your car for three blocks. Yeah, it sure must have been tough for you three men to capture a little kid. Scoundrel! Little, little kid! Oh, no, not again. I'm only five years old. Let's get him! Come on! It's a decorated dream. I told Mrs. Wimble she'd never recognize the place. Gentlemen, it's a masterpiece. Oh. Don't get excited. You haven't even got the bill yet. Oh, don't you get excited. Oh, here, here, here. You've just struck one of the toughest men. Hey, oh, 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 oh,